Hey everybody, Teresa Ramirez, Kindness Coach. And today is Wednesday, January 15th. And I'm coming to you today to speak to the students. You've been back to school from holiday break at least a week. Some have been back two weeks. But I thought this was a great time to you know, start the second half of the school year off right. So I have a message for the students and how to bring kindness into the schools. And I think some of you are aware that my history, how this journey in kindness all came about, had everything to do with students. Um, the Parkland, Florida school shooting. After that shooting, I was so moved by all of the students and their outpouring of grief and their outpouring of fear and how they wanted things to change um, and they were asking for law changes and things like that well we all know it takes forever to change many laws so i wrote a letter entitled dear students and in that letter i sympathized with the students i sympathized with all of you i grieved with all of you and then i said hey look there is something else that you can do instead of going to the school boards, the city leaders, there is something you personally can do. And that is reaching out to your fellow students. So that is how Journey and Kindness all came about. It was all for you, the students. And what I want to do is kind of give you a couple points today to start the second half of the school year off right. And one of the things is reaching out to those students. You know, you're looking around the cafeteria and I know you've all seen them. There are students that sit by themselves every day and not because they want to, not because they're studying for tests, not because they're getting in their homework, but because they don't feel welcome by the other students. So I got to thinking um, over the weekend, uh, Harry Potter runs, those movies run on TV all the time. And I had sat down and there was a scene with, you know, the main characters, Hermione, Harry, Ron, and I think Neville was in it, and Luna. Now, they did not warm up to Luna at the beginning. Um, she really was very different. But the interesting thing is that I learned is that they took the time to get to know her. And they didn't get to know her overnight, but they continued talking to her, including her in their group, letting her sit and eat with them. Didn't always understand her, but they kept looking for common ground. And that's what I want you to do. That person that's sitting all by themselves in the cafeteria, go sit with, down with them or invite them to sit with you and your friends and your group. Take the time to try to get to know them. Know on the surface, you guys have all these different things and then they're, they're weird, they're whatever. Um, but look for common ground. You will be so surprised when you start talking and exchanging and trying to find out more about that person, asking about that person, taking an interest how much that you will find out that you have in common or that they're really interested in something you've never even thought of and found it very interesting. So take that time. That's your challenge number one. Number two, I had just learned this from my great nephew. His elementary school has a kindness council. I thought this was the greatest idea. Every school should have one. And in this kindness council, once a month, they do a community service project um, I know over the holidays they collected canned goods, had all the students in the elementary school collect canned goods and took it all over to the local food pantry. Great idea. But they also do things within the school to make the school a kinder, kinder gentler place. So, uh, you know, one time they wrote thank you notes to their teachers, asked each student to pick a teacher and write a thank you note to. What a great idea. So, and there's many uh, hundreds of other ideas that you can go with this. But the point is, there is a kindness council. You are trying to be kind, trying to make your school a better place to be. You spend a lot of time in that school building, so you want it to be a kind place, a gentle place, a happy place, a joyful place. So, you, but, and you can do this. This is stuff 
that the students themselves can do. If your school does not have a kindness council or anything, you know, they might call it something else, but or anything like that, go to your student council and say, hey, why don't we branch off or add that to the student council? You know, student council here and a subset is the kindness council. Um, or go to, or if you're on the student council, go to the sponsoring teacher and say, hey, we really want to set this up and we need a sponsoring teacher to help us do that. So these are two challenges I'm going to give you as students today to make the second half of the 2019-2020 school year better than ever. We're going into 2020. It's a whole new century. Let's do it right. And it can start with you. So number one, reach out to that person. Don't let anyone sit alone in the cafeteria if that's not what they really want. Invite them to sit with you. Take the time to try to get to know someone. Second, look at these kindness councils. See if you can get, if your school doesn't have one, see if you can get one started. If your school does have one, Start brainstorming with friends to come up with ideas. What will work? Look around your school. You know what's going on in your school. Look around to find, hey, we can do better here and we can do better here. And let's thank the, the teachers. Let's thank the cafeteria workers, etc. I want to good luck with that challenge. Students, educators, please pass this on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.